Hey, Wagwan. Yeah, man, it's Mr. Garthwee here, and I'm back again with another CSEC Mathematics past paper question. All right, and I'm focused on section eight, that is geometry and trigonometry. Okay, and here we have a January 2021 circle geometry question. All right, so the question says that the diagram below, all right, in the diagram below, A, B, C, and D are points on the circumference of a circle with center O. All right, so here is our center O. And it told us that A, O, C, and B, O, D are diameters of the circle. And it also tells us that A, B is parallel, all right, and D, C is also parallel. All right, so A, B, and D, C are parallel. So I have the questions here now, all right? So the first part of the question says that we are to state the reason why the angle ABC is 90 degrees, all right? So let us try and see if we can look for the reason here. So they are telling us that the angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees, all right? and we're focusing on the angle at B, okay? So this is the angle here that we're focusing on. So they're telling us that we are to state a reason why that angle there in the red, all right, is 90 degrees. Well, you should recall the theorem which says that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Okay, meaning that I know that this angle here in the red, all of that angle right here is 180 degrees, right? And they're telling us that this here is 90 degrees. Okay, so you should recall the theorem which says that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference, meaning that the angle at the center, which is the 180 degrees, is equal to two times the angle at the circumference here, all right? The angle at B here, which is 90 degrees. And we know that when we multiply two by 90 degrees, we should get 180 degrees, all right? So that is the reason why that angle there at B is equal to 90 degrees. Let's just write our reason here. All right, we're gonna write our reason here. So we're gonna say that the angle at the center All right, so the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. All right, so the angle at the circumference. Okay, and that is my reason for part one. Great. Now, we're now at part two, which says that we are to determine the value of each of the following angles, and we are to show detailed working where necessary and give a reason to support our answer. So they ask us first in A, they ask us to calculate the angle BAC, and we are to state our reason. All right, let's just look at it angle BAC. So we want the angle B. A, C, so I'm now looking at the angle A here, all right, which is going to be this right here, okay? Which is going to be this angle here. That angle there is B, A, C. Okay, good, that is 2P, right? That is 2P. Now, how will I get that answer? Well, let us look at this triangle here, all right? Let us look at the triangle A, 
B, C. All right? Let's look at that triangle. Well, we know that if we add 2P, 3P, and the 90 degrees, that should be equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because you should recall that the sum of all the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, right? So that is what I'm gonna to use to calculate the value of angle BAC, which is 2P, all right? So let us do our work in here. So we are saying that the 90 degrees, all right? We are saying that the 90 degrees plus the 2P plus the 3P must be equal to 180 degrees. Okay, good. So now we have 90 degrees plus 2P plus 3P, all right? That's gonna give us 5P and that is equal to 1. 180 degrees, okay? Now what I'm going to do is, my aim is to solve for P here. So what I'll be doing is to subtract the 90 degrees from both sides of the equation, okay? And if I do that, I will get 5P is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees, all right? And 5P is now equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees is actually 90 degrees. Okay. And I now have 5P is equal to 90 degrees. Now, if I want to find the value of P, I will now need to divide both sides of this equation by 5. All right. And if I do that, I will get P, which is equal to 90 degrees divided by 5 and that is 18 degrees, all right? So the value of P is 18 degrees. And what did they ask us for? They asked us, they asked us to calculate the angle B, A, C, all right? That angle there, which is equal to two multiplied by P, and that is equal to two multiplied by 18 degrees. Right, because we know that P is 18 degrees. So we'll multiply 18 degrees by two, we get 36 degrees, all right? So the angle BAC is equal to 36 degrees. And I'm gonna write my reasoning right here, okay? I'm gonna say that the sum, the sum of all the interior angles The sum of all the interior angles, all right, of a triangle is 180 degrees, right? So the sum of all the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, all right? So that is my reason there. Great. So I've now answered part A, all right? Let us now look at part B up here now, which says that we are to find the angle Q, and we are to also state the reason for that, okay? The angle Q. Let's look at, at our diagram here. Right, so our angle Q is right here. All right, right there. Good. And we want to know what is that angle going to be equal to? All right, what is that angle going to be equal to? Well, let us discuss it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just erase these markings here. All right. So I'm gonna erase this and we're gonna discuss it. Good. And we want the angle Q, great. So 
what do you notice here now? You should see that the angle here, all right, that angle and this angle, all right, those are angles at the circumference in the same segment, okay? What do I mean by the same segment? All right, so let me explain that part to you now. There are two types of segments. You have the minor segment and you have the major segment, all right? So let's look at this now. So all of this here that I'm gonna highlight in red, all right, so I'm gonna highlight all of this in red. All right. Good. All of that region there that, that I just highlighted in red, that is what we call the major segment. All right, all of that is what we call the major segment. And this region here, as I'm gonna highlight in green, that is actually what we call the minor segment, all right? So this part here is the minor segment and all the parts in red, right? That region in red is what we call the major segment. major segment. Good. And you can see that these two angles here at the circumference, Q and 2P, those angles are at the circumference and they are in the same segment, right? Both of them are in the major segment. Good. That is important to note. Now, in circle geometry, there's a theorem which says that the Angles at the circumference in the same segment of a circle are equal, meaning that the angle 2P is equal to the angle Q. All right? The angle 2P is equal to the angle Q. Good. So that is important to note. And they ask us to find the angle Q here. So I'm now going to say that the angle Q is equal to 2P. Okay, and that is going to be equal to what? Two multiplied by P, all right? We had calculated P previously to be 18 degrees and two multiplied by 18 degrees is 36 degrees, okay? So my Q here is going to be equal to 36 degrees. Great, and I'm not gonna write my reason here on the line which is angles angles at the circumference all right so the angles at the circumference in the same segment in the same segment of a circle are equal, all right? So that is the calculation and the reason behind it. Excellent. So let's just now do the final part of the question, which is part three. It says that we are to calculate the value of angle R, all right? We are to calculate the value of angle R. Good. So let me just erase all of this here. All right. And then we are going to discuss it. Okay. Great. We want the angle R now. All right, right here, that angle there, okay? How are we now going to calculate that angle R? That is the question, all right? 
Now, let us look at this. I'm going to highlight something here in yellow, all right? And you should really remember this from primary school, not primary school, sorry, <laughs> lower school, all right? Not primary school, I, I, don't, I don't remember learning this in primary school. <laughs> but yes, you should remember this in lower school, right? This is one of the, this is one of the first things that you learn in geometry, all right? When you're talking about parallel lines, with a transversal line. Okay, so let us just highlight this here. All right, we're gonna highlight this. Good. So I've highlighted that, great. Now, does that remind you of anything that you have learned in lower school? Well, you should recall the alternate angles, all right? So remember that there's a rule which says that the alternate angles are equal, okay? What are the alternate angles? We're talking about this angle here, all right? So all of that angle here is going to be equal to this angle here, all right? Alternate angles are commonly called Z angles by students, okay? Good, so you see that I highlighted the Z for you, all right? And I shaded the alternate angles. So to the angles 2P and R are alternate, okay? Good, so let us just write down our calculation now, all right? So we're saying that the angle R is going to be equal to 2P, okay? Good. And the angle R is going to be equal to two times P, which we had calculated previously to be 36 degrees, okay? That is my calculation. And although they didn't say that we are to state the reason, let us just still state it, all right? So my reason is that alternate angles, okay? Alternate angles are equal, all right? And that is my calculation and the reason behind it, great. So that is the solutions for this circle geometry past paper question on the January 2021 paper. All right, if this video helped you in any way, please ensure to like up the video, comment down below and subscribe to the channel, okay? You can also share these videos with your friends. All right, I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology, Jamaica, and I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.